Welcome to Global Search Box Tutorials. Today we'll be talking about basic suturing techniques. To practice the simple baseball stitch, you'll need your global search box with your board, you'll need pickups, you'll need a needle driver, you'll need hair tie, and you'll need a stitch. Before we begin, let's learn how to load our needle driver properly. So in the rings of the needle driver, I want you to put your thumb and your ring finger and only the tips, not the entire finger, but just the tips. Put your middle finger rested right here and then your ring finger goes on the shaft and rests on the shaft like this. Now this gives you the maximum rotation and control of your needle driver. Note that if you put your middle finger in the ring, it really limits your rotation so you really want your ring finger in there. And your pointer finger actually directs exactly where your needle goes. So it's the proper holding of your needle driver. To set up for the simple baseball stitch, you'll take your hair tie, you put it across two of the nails. You'll take your suture and pickup and you'll load the needle in the middle at the tip at a 135 degree angle. So in the middle means here is the curve of the needle. You want to go right in the middle. At the tip means here. Rather than exposing a lot of your tip and damaging tissues this way, always load it at the tip. And here we have 90 degrees. You always want to go 45 here more to get 135 degrees. And the reason is if you're loading it at 90 degrees and your shaft is completely straight, you go exactly from right to left. But most of the time our shaft isn't straight. We come at an angle because your elbow isn't glued to your ribs. And so when you do that, now you see that you're actually going backwards and you don't really want that. So if you open up your angle to 135 degrees, now you can very comfortably come with your suture at the shaft at an angle and still be able to go directly from right to left. So again, in the middle, at the tip, 135 degree angle. That's the best way to load your suture. Now we'll start at one corner, go through both sides of the hair tie, take the needle out, and tie your knots. Reload your needle, remember in the middle, at the tip, 135 degree angle. And then keep going. One way you can do this is grab the needle, pull it all the way out, load it exactly as you want it in the middle at the tip, 135 degree angle, pull up on your suture, place it exactly where you want with your pickup, and then keep going. Remember as you do this, always go with the curve of the needle so that you don't cause any torque and damage your tissues. So as you're going through the tissue, or in this case the hair tie, always curve and go with the curve of the needle. and place it exactly where you want it with your pickup. Now, another way that we can do this is to go through the tissue, push it from the back, and again, turn your wrist so that your palm is always towards the ground, pull it up a little bit, grab the needle exactly where you want it at an angle, pull it up, and watch my right hand as I turn this needle driver in my hand, and then you're set up to go immediately again without letting go of your needle driver or needle or suture at all. So that's another way to do it, is just use your right hand or your dominant hand, load it, turn it in your hand, and you're set up to go. So I recommend practicing both ways to get facile with this. Always going with the curve of the needle.
When you're comfortable with the simple baseball stitch, you can move on to the horizontal mattress. Again, place your hair tie around two of these nails. Load your needle in the middle at the tip at a 135 degree angle. Start again at the corner. Tie your knots. And with the horizontal mattress, you're trying to load forehand and backhand in quick succession. So first you start with a forehand, going with the curve of the needle, grab your needle out, turn the needle with it still in your pickup, load it backhand, keep going, turn the needle, load it forehand, pull it up, go forehand, grab your needle, turn it, Load it backhand, go backhand. If you want even more practice with needle angles, you can take your hair tie, put it around this diamond on the side. Take a suture and cut off most of the length, maybe leave a centimeter or two. And then use this to practice needle angles forehand, going with the curved needle, loading it, going backhand, and just keep practicing as much as you need to go at very different angles. And remember, when you're done with all your needles, the Global Surge Box with the lid does have a sponge where you can store all of your needles to avoid getting hurt. Thank you for watching the video. For more about our project or to watch other videos, please visit www.globalsurgebox.com.